Hello, Namaste. This is Dr. Ravi Kiran Barigala. I'm an infectious disease specialist in Apollo Hospital. Today we are going to be talking about gonorrhea. It is a sexually transmitted disease. It's a bacteria which causes uh, this infection. So we will be talking about how do you get it, what type of symptoms do you get it, how can you transmit it to others, how can you prevent infection, and what are the treatment options available for this. What is gonorrhea? So gonorrhea is a sexually transmitted disease. It is a bacteria actually. Uh, there are many different bacteria in the world. And this is a special type of bacteria which causes infections uh, when people participate in sexual activity. What are the symptoms of gonorrhea? So gonorrhea symptoms depends upon what organ is involved. So let's say uh, somebody has been in some sexual activity and uh, uh, penis is involved. So you will have penile discharge a yellowish or whitish discharge might happen. They may also complain of pain during urination, pain during sexual activity. You won't necessarily have any lesions or rash on the outside anywhere. Same for women, they would have some maybe pus coming out or a, a discharge coming out through the vagina. If it is an oral thing, it may have some uh, pain or maybe ulcers or some discharge type of thing inside the mouth, in the throat really. How do you transmit gonorrhea? So you can transmit gonorrhea sexually. It is by some type of a sexual contact, um, either direct intercourse, uh, oral, vaginal, anal, any of those types can transmit uh, gonorrhea. When should you get tested for gonorrhea? You should get tested for gonorrhea if you had some sexual activity, any one of those oral, vaginal, anal type of sex and you have any of those symptoms, primarily discharge is there um, or pain is there during urination or you have some throat symptoms which after some oral sex, at that time you can get tested. Is there any treatment for gonorrhea? Yes, there are very good treatments actually. There are some treatments if you just take one day, then your, your infection will be gone. So there is injection forms, there is tablet forms, some tablets you require for maybe seven days, but other injections are also there, just one injection, just one time will completely cure gonorrhea. Is it completely curable? Gonorrhea actually is one of those sexually transmitted diseases which is completely curable. So once you take the treatment, the body will completely eliminate gonorrhea from your body. So you might get it again if you engage in the behavior again, but this episode will be completely cured. Is there any side effects from these medicines? Um, all medicines have side effects, uh, but the medications that we use for gonorrhea are very mild medicines and are taken only for a very short duration. The risk of side effects is extremely rare. You may have side effects if you're like allergic to some of those medications, like you're allergic to penicillin or some of the other tablets that we use for gonorrhea, then you may have more side effects. Other side effects could be like gas, acidity or some weakness but minor symptoms. Do partners need to get tested? Yes, actually this is a very common thing which is missed out for many patients. So if somebody gets gonorrhea positive or are suspicious for gonorrhea, the partner should also get tested at the same time. Let's say one person is tested and treated but the other person is not and then when you have again sexual activity, the other person will give it back again. So both of them have to be treated simultaneously, tested and treated simultaneously. How do you prevent gonorrhea? Gonorrhea can be prevented by first thing is abstinence. If you don't engage in sexual activity with anyone, you won't probably get it. If you are in a completely monogamous relationship with the partner, that way also you can prevent gonorrhea. And also having condoms will definitely prevent gonorrhea almost in all cases. Can condoms prevent gonorrhea? Yes, condoms can prevent gonorrhea if you wear it properly. Um, many times the condoms are not worn properly or it comes off. In those situations, patients can still transmit it. But if it's used properly, the risk of transmission is extremely low. How do you prevent gonorrhea? Gonorrhea can be prevented, as I mentioned, by condoms, by abstinence, by safe sexual practices. If you do those things, the risk of gonorrhea is extremely low. Can gonorrhea cause infertility? It is actually a rare cause of infertility both for men 
and women. So as part of infertility workup, if somebody does not have children even after trying for many months or years, uh, doctors usually test them if they have any evidence of gonorrhea. Even if you don't have any symptoms of uh, these gonorrhea infections, it actually can go into your body um, and interfere with the fertility aspects, both for men and for women. Do we have a vaccine for it? We actually do not have any vaccine for gonorrhea at this point. Uh, they are still doing research, but no vaccine discovered yet. Are there any other infections associated with gonorrhea? Actually, chlamydia is something that goes with gonorrhea many, many times. It's very frequently that you have both of them. Actually, sometimes they recommend treating for both at the same time. Uh, if you find one, just treat for another. That's how common both of them are together. How do you test for gonorrhea? So gonorrhea is tested by a urine sample. It's a PCR based sample where you can look for any evidence of uh, this uh, bacteria in the urine. Many different uh, techniques are there, but usually the results come within one or two days and that's very confirmatory. If you find it, it is most likely you have it. So today we learned about gonorrhea, what are some of the signs and symptoms of gonorrhea, how you can get it, how you can give it to others, do partners need to be treated also, what are the treatment options, what are some of the side effects of it, and is there any vaccine for it. So this is how you can find out more about gonorrhea. If you want to learn more, please contact one of us again. Thank you. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay informed. Thank you. Namaste.